Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you need to reduce the amount of sodium in your diet? In this video, I'll share what is sodium, added versus natural sodium, recommended limits for added sodium, foods high and low in natural sodium, and high added sodium foods. Sodium is a mineral, an essential nutrient. Essential means your body cannot make sodium. It must come from your diet. Most foods provide naturally occurring sodium. Many people get most of their sodium from prepared foods with added sodium. For home cooks, added sodium comes from three major sources, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. Salt has been used to flavor and preserve foods for thousands of years. Salt is still used to preserve some foods. In most cases, salt is used as an inexpensive flavor enhancer. A 5-ounce potato has about 7 milligrams of sodium. By comparison, 1 ounce of potato chips has about 150 milligrams of sodium. Your tongue's taste buds can distinguish sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umani. Salt is added to thousands of prepared foods. One meal can provide a day's worth of sodium. Salt is just one source of dietary sodium. Another popular inexpensive source is monosodium glutamate. Unlike home-cooked meals, Sodium in prepared foods comes from a wide variety of ingredients. In the U.S., there is no recommended dietary allowance for sodium, but nutrition labels include percent daily value. Both the old and new nutrition facts labels list 160 milligrams of sodium providing 7% of the daily value. 160 milligrams is 7% of 2,285 milligrams. Unlike the new nutrition label listing for added sugar, the new label still lists total sodium. Many nutrition experts recommend limiting added sodium to 2,300 milligrams a day. Like added sugars, the 2,300 milligram recommended daily limit excludes naturally occurring sodium. According to the American Heart Association, your body needs about 500 milligrams of sodium daily. Limiting total sodium to 2,300 milligrams a day provides four times more than most people need. How much added salt or sodium is healthy is a controversial topic. Many healthy people can live on little or no added salt. The opposite is also true. Some people can consume more than 2,300 milligrams a day with no ill effects. Sodium, an electrolyte, is lost through perspiration. People who perspire heavily need more dietary sodium. People working sedentary jobs in air-conditioned offices may need less sodium. While there appears to be a link between very high sodium diets and increased blood pressure, it doesn't mean everyone eating a high sodium diet will have high blood pressure. Some diets are high in sodium and potassium. While sodium can cause water retention, potassium has the opposite effect. People with chronic kidney disease are placed on low-sodium diets to prevent life-threatening high blood sodium levels. A low-sodium diet can help some people reduce high blood pressure without prescription drugs. How much daily sodium is safe depends on your overall health. Some foods have more natural sodium than others. A 4-ounce serving of the foods in this list provides almost 700 milligrams of natural sodium. Many foods are also low in natural sodium. 
eating a four-ounce serving of the foods in this list would provide between 90 to 150 milligrams of sodium. People eating high-sodium diets get about 70% of their daily sodium from processed and prepared foods. More processing usually means more sodium. Chicken breast meat with no added salt solution has 75 milligrams of natural sodium per four ounce serving. Some raw meats are enhanced with a saline solution. The same four ounce serving now has 180 milligrams of sodium instead of 75. Fried chicken smothered in gravy has about 900 milligrams. Many prepared foods are very high in added sodium. The FDA defines high as more than 450 milligrams per serving. This frozen meatloaf meal has 1,440 milligrams. Six ingredients, including salt and MSG, contribute sodium to this meal. Supersized restaurant meals provide between 1,500 to 5,000 milligrams. Very high sodium foods include breads, pizza, sandwiches, cold cuts, cured meats, soups, burritos and tacos, chicken, cheese, prepared eggs and omelets, canned soups, frozen meals, salty snack foods, fast food items, restaurant foods, and condiments. The takeaway is your overall health and lifestyle determines how much sodium, natural and added, is right for you. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.